Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Today, our show is called The Mind Blowing Truth About Sugar. I'm about to blow your mind, guys. Make sure you hit the video so I can see your comments over here. Make sure you hit the video so I can see your comments. And don't be afraid to ask questions. If it's your first time watching my show, my show is about the keto lifestyle. It's about deleting the sugar out your life. It's about letting you know that what sugar does to you. Sugar. Get ready, guys. intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. Let's begin the show. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life TV. All right, what's up, y'all? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, man. Today we got a good show for y'all. It's called The Mind-Blowing Truth About Sugar. The Mind-Blowing Truth About Sugar about sugar hey shout out to claudia she came by and she picked up some some of my healthy low carb treats remember guys you can come by and pick them up if you're in houston or in katie so i can't wait till she makes that cake uh shout out to sabrina uh, joining me right now de leon and, and remember guys make sure y'all hit the video so i can see y'all comments over here shout out to everybody in, in tiktok joining me right now and everybody that's on instagram joining me right now and hopefully we get a big crowd today, guys. We get a big crowd because, hey, I'm here to help you with your health, to help you with your weight, to help you with your mind, guys, to help you with your mind. Because in the end, guess what? Your mind runs everything. Your mind runs everything. So uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I hope everybody's having an awesome day, an awesome day. I, I just feel that um, I I'm going to get into this right now. And um, I hopefully, man, hopefully y'all get it. Hopefully y'all get it because a lot of times I do these videos and y'all don't get it. I still see y'all eating all this sugar and all this evilness. And man, I tell you what, leave it alone. It's not going to do nothing good for you. It's not going to do nothing good for you at all, ever, right? So how do we start? Okay, let's start like this. So the mind-blowing truth about sugar. Okay, so you know sugar causes pretty much all health problems, right? So sugar causes diabetes. Sugar causes hypertension. Um... Same high blood pressure causes inflammation, causes anxiety, causes causes depression. It causes um, skin problems, skin rashes. It causes man cancer. In some ways, the way, when 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 you talk about sugar causing cancer, what happens is sugar feeds into cancer cells, guys. And you can look up everything. These are facts. You can look up everything I'm telling you. But sugar is the cause of all health problems, right? So sometimes, you know, and, I, and I'm here to tell y'all, look, I, at one time I was getting skin tags on me, right? I was getting skin tags on me and, and 
little things to hang off your body and you know, I had some more. They're gone. You know, they're gone, right? So, you know, there's a few more f dropping down. And it has a lot to do with sugar, guys. It has a lot to do with sugar. You know, I used to get, um, I, I, people people don't know, I used to get depression, man, but I did. I, not where I wanted to do something to myself, but I used to get depression where I had to find a reason to want to wake up the next day, you know, and thank God I was a DJ. And I look forward to, like, doing people's quinceaneras and weddings and um, private parties, whatever. I looked forward to that. But honestly... I was depressed, you know, even when uh, a while back when I was I always DJ for a long time and I was also doing music. I was rapping at the time. And I think the biggest thing I, that I took from it is that I like the fact that I was on stage and people looked up to me and, and stuff like that, you know. But at the end of the night, I was depressed. I was depressed like, man, you know what? Man, I don't like myself. You know, I really don't like myself, you know. And we get to that point and, and we want to escape from this. But. How do we escape from it? See, a lot of times we can say, we're going to do exercise. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But your mind is still telling you something different, right? So it, it, we ain't going to talk about growth mindset. Well, yeah, we are going to talk about growth mindset. So your mind is control. Your mind should be controlled of everything. Your mind should be the last thing and the first thing to decide on everything, right? Unless you're married. Not playing. Not playing. So, but... You just got to control your mind. You know, a lot of times in the very beginning, like if, if I would see food, I would get hungry. If I would see sugar, I would want it. If I would see soda water, sodas, I would want it. If I would want to see anything, I would want it. They'll be talking about it. I would want it. Commercials, I would want it. Billboards, I would want it. But that no longer is the deal with me. You know, it's not. You know, you can you can bring food next to me and, and right next to my nose and I ain't going to want it. You know, what happens is. A lot of us, we go by our senses, right? And, and it's, it's everybody does, right? But you got to break that. You got to break it. You got to um, understand your mind. You're in control. You're in control. And a lot of people, they get anxiety and they get depression because they're not controlling of their mind. They're letting other people control their mind. They're letting other actions that are around them control them, you know? You know, how many times ha have you... All of a sudden, you're in a bad mood after you get on the phone, get off the phone with somebody. Now you're negative, right? Now you're negative. Now you're, and you know, one thing is not to be negative. Ever negative is never a good thing, right? Negative is not going to help you drop weight. Negative is not going to help you do the keto lifestyle. Negative is not going to help you delete sugar out your life. Positive will help you all that, right? So, how many times have you got off the phone with somebody, and you hear all their, oh, you know what? He's such an asshole, and and he did this and did that, and I don't know why I'm still married. And you hear stories like that, or you hear the other story, you know, oh, my God, that teacher was, she's such, a, she was so mean to my, my student and everything like that, and this, and then you hear all these, you know, you're hearing all this, right? So now you get off that phone. You were having a great day, but now you're off that phone, and now you're thinking about, oh, man, you know what? What if my teacher's like that? Or what if it, what if my husband's like that, you know? And, and now your whole mind is shattered from what you wanted to do from the get-go right so now you're mad you're mad just all of a sudden you're mad right so hey shout out to sabrina shout out to fidel and shout out to pops what's up pops how y'all doing um and so you got to be control of your mind don't let nobody take your energy anybody can take your energy at any time i i've seen it it's done it's been done to me you know i i've had people call me i, I was this person called me from san antonio and they wanted me to help them with their um they had high blood pressure. They had diabetes, right? So you're calling me, and I'm trying to tell you what you need to do. But you're going against me and telling me that you don't need to do that. So at that time, he's taking my energy because I'm wasting a call on him when I could be helping somebody else, right? He, was, he just didn't want to do the hard stuff. When I told him, hey, you know what? You're diabetic. You've got to delete sugar out your life. Guess what? He was being obedient. He didn't want to do it. He really didn't want to do it, right? And and I could have stayed on the phone call and I could have kept on. You know what I told him? I said, you know what? Hey, man, I wish you the best. And if you need to reach me and you're ready to listen, call me back. That's it. And I let him go. Now, I haven't heard from him and, and I'm OK with it. I'm OK with it. See, people think that this happens because it's going to happen. Like it's going to fall into your lap. If you want to drop weight, it's going to fall into your lap. If you want to delete sugar, it's going to fall into your lap. That's never going to happen. You know, this don't happen by chance. It happens by results. It happens by work. Right. And hey, hey, Sherry, how you doing, Sherry? Hope you're doing great. Um, and shout out to Maria. So this happens 
by you working hard. You know, you got these people out here that tell you, you know, hey, take this packet or, hey, take these pills or take this or get a faja and everything. You're going to drop all this weight. Guess what? Take this, take that. You're going to drop weight. And then you're like, man, I ain't dropping no weight. But your but your mind in the beginning, your mind tells you, hey, I'm going to drop weight from this. I'm going to drop weight from this. And you believe in it. How do you think medication works? You take some medication and you're like, man, it's helping me when it's really not. Your mind's telling you that's helping you, you know. So, um. We got, we got over here. Okay, so we got, so, so what's up, y'all? What's up? So, guys, every day I do the hard things, but I love doing the hard things. Like, and it's not hard for me. It's not really hard for me no more. You know, I don't get hungry. You know, they tell me, hey, how do I know when I'm in ketosis or how do I know when, when I'm at a good place? I say, because you're not going to get hungry. No food around you is going to bother you. You know, it's, it's not going to affect you whatsoever, you know. You got to always remember why you started and why you wanted this. Now, the mind blowing truth about sugar. Sugar can destroy you in one day. Sugar can destroy you 10 years. Sugar can destroy you in two years. Sugar can destroy you in months. But sugar is going to destroy you. It really is. It really is. You know, so some people say, hey, shout shout out to Erica. Some people say, hey, you know what? I go to the gym. I'm always at the gym and and everything. And you see their food, right? So they're eating all this sugar and sugar after sugar. They eat this big old thing of pasta and everything. Oh, time, gym time, gym time, right? And then you read their deals and you hear right here. I wish I could get rid of this anxiety. I hate having anxiety. Oh, my God. You don't understand my depression. Why? Because you're not taking care of yourself. You're taking care of your outside. You still haven't took care of your inside. People, you have to take care of your inside before you take care of your outside, you know, and you have to do that. Yes, yes. When you eat, you get full faster, you know, and right there by you telling me that I know that you're eating the right fats. I know you are. See, a lot of times a person got to remember something when you do the keto lifestyle at the beginning, you're going to be hungry, right? Until you figure out how to balance out everything you need to eat. And one thing you need to do is drink tons and tons of water. You have to always have a water next to you. You know, I, I, I don't even have enough water that I should be having. I'll be honest with y'all, you know. But what happens if a person don't drink a lot of water, they get constipated, right? And where does that come from? That comes because during the time that you're eating bad, you're eating sugar, you're eating all this bad stuff, you're eating all these net carbs, what happens is you're able to poop. You're able to poop. You go, you're pooping, right? That's not a good thing, though. You know, the poop part, yeah, it's good to poop, right? Because you don't want to be constipated. But so once you change your body and once you're eating right, once you're eating more vegetables, first of all, you've got to eat a lot of fiber. you got to eat vegetables. See, keto lifestyle, people say, oh, you know what, 75% of, I say 75% of fat, 20% of protein. And 5% of net carbs. But, but you still got to have a good amount of vegetables. You have to. You have to have a good amount of magnesium, right? Because now your body is not producing water no more. Once you start getting away from the net carbs, your body's not producing water. And that's why it's important for you to drink a lot of water. I'm just started. I'm excited to get. Oh, what's up, Erica? How you doing? That's that's great, man. And you know what? I, I do a lot of um private coaching so if you like you can call me and i can tell you um you know how I, what you know what i charge i don't charge a lot man i charge 40 dollars a month that's what i charge but some of the people that i'm doing it with they can tell you that i go through everything i go through we're at the store i show them how to read to look for hidden sugars and, and i help out a lot of people guys i help a lot of people and i know sometimes we're going through this right now with this pandemic pandemic uh, that going on right now too the covid and whatever's going on right but so it's not so much about the money. If you want me to help you, call me, and then we can work something down the line, or you can go to my bakery and buy some of the goodies. And, and you know, there's always ways to do this, right? There's always ways to do this. So um, so that's awesome to see that you're just getting started. So shout out to Megan. Shout out to Mindy. Uh, Alma. Shout out to Alma. Shout out to all y'all. Appreciate y'all, guys. Appreciate y'all. And make sure y'all share my videos. Uh, maybe we can help somebody else. Um, and now's the time. Now's the time to tag the people, guys. Tag the people. Tag your Thea that's been having diabetes. Tag your uncle that's been having high blood pressure. Tag tag them on here so they can see that there's a way out. So they can see that 
there is a way out, guys. There's a way out, you know. The mind-blowing truth about sugar. So I'm going to play a couple of things right now, right? So right now we're going to do, uh, um, this is called What Sugar Is Really Doing to the Body. Hold on. Sugar addiction is a real problem. However, I've noticed that a lot of people don't seem to realize that every time they ingest sugar, or any food containing sugar, what they're actually doing is poisoning themselves. Over and over again, research has proven that sugar is more addictive than cocaine, and that every time you eat a chocolate bar or take a super sweet Starbucks coffee, you increase the likelihood of you developing one of these many diseases. Cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer, obesity, and much, much more. So, in this video, I'm not only going to discuss sugar addiction and the damage it does to your body, but practical steps to help you break this deadly addiction. We've always been told that sugar has many negative effects, both for the body and mind. Weight gain, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease are among the major complications of chronic consumption of excessive sugar. But how is this addiction established? According to Dr. Robert Luftig, a pediatric endocrinologist who's best known for his work promoting anti-sugar diets, sugar, in the forms of sucrose and fructose, is like poison due to its negative effects on the neurotransmitter systems of the body. This addiction can be explained as a cycle, perpetually becoming stronger and stronger every single time we ingest and consume sugar. When sugar is consumed into the body, blood sugar levels spike, releasing high amounts of opioids and dopamine in the brain, which gives you a tremendous satisfying sensation. This process is called reward. Meanwhile, the cell choline levels, that's another neurotransmitter, are diminished, a process which intervenes in tolerance. After this, high levels of insulin are produced by the pancreas to decrease your glycemic levels, which results in a rapid fall. This causes immediate fat storage by the cells to occur. The cycle continues with the craving for more sugar to replenish its loss, along with a displeasurable sensation. With time, your body will increase the amount of sugar you consume in order to increase the release of opioids and dopamine levels that are giving you that same satisfying sensation you had in the beginning. This whole cycle leads to compulsive eating and binging, making this addiction even more difficult to break. As stated before, chronic abuse of sugar is proven to lead to some pretty serious diseases. Type 2 diabetes is the best example of one of the negative side effects of this addiction. Consuming high amounts of sugar leads to massive production of insulin by the pancreas. After several years of over-consuming sugar and over-producing insulin, the pancreas begins its degenerative process, diminishing the insulin levels you produce. Due to this, higher and higher levels of glycemia presence lead to the appearance of type 2 diabetes and its complications. Normally, the liver turns sugar into fat, storing it. But with this condition, the excessive storage of sugar leads to a disease called fatty liver, which results in the dysfunction of every liver process. With time, high amounts of sugar in the bloodstream will affect the vascular system, leading to high blood pressure and heart disease. A common complication of diabetes is diabetic neuropathy, a condition that results in the damage of small blood vessels that nourish nerves, which leads to a series of symptomatology that can conclude with an amputation. But, the complications of sugar addiction don't only affect the body, they also affect the mind. When high levels of blood sugar are stored by the cells, opioids and dopamine levels also fall, producing a severe sensation of fatigue and displeasure. This feeling can lead to abnormal behavior that can only be countered with the consumption of higher and higher levels of sugar. I know this is a lot of information to dig in, but I want you guys to know the harmful effects you're doing to yourselves every time you take sugar. We can live and thrive without sugar. Our ancestors did. But today, sugar is in everything we eat. The multi-billion dollar food industry doesn't want you to give up sugar. Their sales depend on it. That's why they sneak sugar into everything, labeling those foods as low-fat or free from artificial flavors. Although those statements might be true, they're simply masking sugar-laden products with a false claim that they're healthy and good for you. For example, from just one serving of iced tea, you'll end up with nearly 9 teaspoons of sugar. A single cup of 245 milligram low-fat yogurt contains about 12 teaspoons of sugar, and for all you coffee lovers, a flavored coffee drink can contain as much as 25 teaspoons of sugar. That's shocking, right? So, if you want to overcome this addiction, here are a few things you can do. Sugar is the devil. First, it'll destroy the inside of you, and then it'll destroy the outside of you. Check it out, guys. So... 
So when you hear this, when you hear this, look what it look what it's done. I mean, you see people that are that are getting amputated, getting their body parts amputated. I got friends, personally friends, that lost their foot, right? My dad got his foot amputated um, in 95. My dad's no longer here. He passed away in 95. Um, I got friends that died from heart attacks. Recently, I had a friend die from a heart attack, right? I have friends that die, and it's sad. It's sad that e every time I, g I get on Facebook or on Instagram or anything I get on, I'm leaving little praying hands because they're in the hospital, but they don't want to do the they don't want to do the hard work. They don't want to change, you know. Sometimes I want change for people that I'm helping more than they want it. You know, I, I'm on them, and, and my wife got to remind me and say, babe, they're, they, it's up to them if they're going to listen. I said, I know, I know, babe, but I'm, I'm, I want them to do this. I know I want them to do this. I want them to be in the hospital and stuff like that, you know. Um, Sherry, uh, so you said, I drink black coffee, no cream, no sugar. It was hard. But you know what, Sherry? We did a video. We did a video not too long ago, and my wife's the one who drinks coffee. I don't drink coffee, but my wife drinks coffee. I drink tea. I drink my natural, natural herbal tea that's amazing, right? And uh, that's another video, but um, well, I'll talk about it a little bit. But so my wife, she we did a video. So I made my wife's coffee. I made my co my wife's coffee for her. And I tell you what, you need to go look at that video because that video is awesome because you could still enjoy coffee. It's going to be tasting really good, real good, better than Starbucks, right? And it doesn't have the bad stuff in it. So we made it in front of people. We We use butter. We put butter in our coffee. Well, she does. She puts butter in her coffee. And I drank her coffee, and it tasted good, right? Uh, you could put cinnamon in your coffee. Cinnamon's good for you. So you can put cinnamon in your coffee. And she puts a little bit, I think just like a ink, like a, a of a stevia, like the, the little, just, just like a little, whatever she calls it, just like a little pinch. And But most of the time, she drinks it black, right? If she's fasting, she's drinking it black. So that's awesome. Sherry, that's awesome to hear, man. That's awesome to hear. Um. So, guys, man, did you hear what I was saying? Like, Sugar causes inflammation, and when sugar starts causing inflammation, it's called it starts causing problems for everything. You know, it causes arthritis. It causes um, sugar causes everything, guys. I mean, it, people right now. Uh, last year, I was DJing over there at Gridiron Sports Bar. Shout out to them. And this person had psoriasis. Right? They they read my hat. I had another hat, and it said "Sugar's the Devil." And they said, "Oh man, I got psoriasis." And then I said, "Well, why don't you?" delete sugar out your life, you know, and everything. And and I didn't know too much about psoriasis, but I, I just had a feeling that sugar has something to do with it. And it did, right? It did. And so they started doing it, and they started noticing that they were doing better. But they went back to what they were doing. See, a lot of times I could only tell you. I could only tell you. I, I can promise you results, but you have to want to do it. You have to want to do it. I cannot tell you, hey, if you want to be at this place, you got to set your goal. Guess what? I want to be here, but you got to see yourself there. You got to see yourself there because I could see you there. I could tell people all the time, hey, you know what? I see you're going to lose 15, 20 pounds in three, four months. I'm going to make sure you do it. I'm going to stay on you. I'm, this is what I do as a coach. I'm going to make sure you do it. I want you to succeed. But I'm not around you 24-7. So when you're there, you want to treat yourself. You're like, you know, I've been doing good and everything, so now I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. And as soon as you cheat, guess what? You probably pretty much got to start all over again, you know? Hey, how you doing, Maria? How you doing? Oh, oh my God, I have psoriasis, and I have flared up so bad. You know what? Hey, delete sugar out your life. Delete sugar out your life. I think some of the things on psoriasis, I think it's spicy food. But if you do the keto lifestyle, and this is, this is me telling you, I, I know, I know for a fact. If you do the keto lifestyle and you do the keto lifestyle right, you'll be able to eat spicy food and you you can control your psoriasis. You'll be able to control your psoriasis. Psoriasis is an immune problem, right? It's like an immune problem. I don't know too much about it, but I did do a little study on it because I was helping that one girl and that one guy. But it will help you. Anytime you delete sugar out your life, you are going to take care of something that's wrong with you. And sometimes you take care of everything that's wrong with you but this is not a lifestyle that you could turn off and turn on you know a lot of people say i want to do the keto lifestyle i want to i want to get i want to do this i want to feel better i want to beat diabetes i want to beat high blood pressure i want to do this but they don't want to change they don't want to do the hard part they're used to being comfortable 
How many times have you had people look? For instance, I had people call me and say, hey, free, please help my husband. Please, he's about to lose his license if he don't get his high blood pressure right because he drives a diesel. I need you to help my husband. So he does everything, and then he gets back to the same thing, same way, same thing. Guess what? So next year, he'll be calling me again and telling me, hey, free, can, can you help me with my high blood pressure because I got to take that test again. But it might not be that easy. See, I've had people that done the keto lifestyle that lost 100 pounds or more, 100 pounds or more, guys. And they thought they could turn it off and turn it on like if it was a faucet. You know what? I'm going to cheat on this holiday and I'll go back to keto. I'll just intimate fast and I'll go back. It doesn't happen that way. And exactly what I said happened. They thought they could turn off and turn on and turn off and turn on. And guess what? They're back to where they were at or close to where they're going to be, where they were at before, you know? Yeah, immunism affects the joints and well. Yes, I, I've heard. And see, that's what I was talking about. Sugar is infla inflammation, causes inflammation. Guys, look, I'm not a doctor, but I do show you what I know and, and, and what I studied and what I see and what I went through. Guys, I never had psoriasis, but I know that when I told that person to get on the keto lifestyle and to delete sugar out their life, they were happy. They were happy because they were not breaking out so much no more, right? So it's all with sugar. Hey, shout out, shout out to Key. What's up, Key? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to start helping Key, man. He's going to start doing it. You see, I had somebody come over today, and I was I was coaching them. I'm not really coaching them, but I was, they were looking at my videos and everything. They want me to help them and everything. So she came today, and she goes, yeah, I'm sorry. I just got back on it. So you know what? There's nothing wrong the problem is when you just don't want to do it no more, when you give up, do not give up on yourself. There's too much potential that you still have. A lot of us have so much potential, no matter what it is. We have so much that we have to do and we lose it because we give up because we give up when we shouldn't give up. Now, I know it's real easy for people to give up because I wanted to give up when I found out I was type two diabetic. I wanted to give up. I really wanted to give up. But if I would have gave up, how selfish that would have made me, right? How it was it was not going to change nothing. I was still going to be called fat boy, fat ass, and all the other names they used to call me. I was going to still be called that. I was going to be called the guy that, oh, you know what? Free, give him food. He loves food. Give him this. Oh, he'll be happy. Give him this. I didn't want to be that guy no more. So I did it for my boys. I did it for my wife. I did it for my daughter. I did it for my family. But I did it for me. I did it for me. Sometimes we forget what we want to do. Sometimes we forget the focus. Sometimes we don't have enough faith. We have more fear than faith. But you got to remember something. We have a mind blowing Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. We have an amazing God, right? No matter what religion, because religion separates everybody. It's the same God, right? Don't forget about that. Don't forget about that. You know, I, I say, hey, man, I work hard every day. I do 20 hours intimate fasting. I do this. I'm doing my recipe book. I'm doing all this to help people with their health. But we forget. But we forget. We have to sit back and forget who's really in charge. Who's really in charge when, when it comes to debating about the president, about this, about that. He's the president. He's the last one. He's the one that you need to worry, that we need to worry about. See, and this is where positive, positive comes in. You start being positive about your God. You start being positive. You start saying, you know what? I know you're going to work on me. I know you're going to work on me. I know you are. I'm not going to be this person no more. I'm not going to be him no more. My wife's going to drop weight. We're going to feel good. We're not going to have to worry about having health problems. I'm not going to have to go see the doctor because the doctor is not taking care of my disease. The doctor is taking care of symptoms so I can see him the next week or the next day or the next month. The doctors are not doing nothing for me. The doctors are not doing nothing for you. They're not. They're not. They're not. Now, I feel a mess. I feel amazing. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy because because Claudia came over and picked up some of my treats and she's going to love them. And guess what? She's going to tell other people about them. She's going to tell other people, hey, you know what? They don't even taste keto. They're delicious. They're amazing. You know, so. Yes, that was me. Yes, that was me. I'm going to show you another picture of me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
You know, at one time, I, I could even, um, at one time, I couldn't even, um, like, go all the way to my screen. I couldn't even go to my screen because my stomach would stop me way over here at one time. I ain't gonna lie. Go look at my pictures, right? I just showed y'all. And look at this one. Bam! Look at me right there. So what I use these pictures at as I use these as fuel, right? In my house, I got wedding pictures where I'm bigger in my wedding when I got married. And I use those. At one time, my wife said, baby, you want to take the pictures down? No, use them. let's use them as fuel. Let's use them as fuel. I know I'm not going to be ever, ever, ever be there again, right? And you get the people like, never say never, never say never. Well, those are the people that are negative. Don't be negative. Be positive. Be positive. How many times have you went to go do something, buy a brand new car or, or, or do something for yourself? And what is, what, is your, what is one of your, somebody in your family tells you this. Can you afford it? Oh, do you think you should get that right now considering the COVID's going on? Do you think you can? I said, telling you, you know what? That's awesome, man. That's really, really nice. That's And leave it like that. Oh, man, you know what? That's that's nice. That's really nice, right? But you got the negative people that drain your energy. They try to drain your energy, you know? And, and I, know, I know they're looking out for you and everything, but you got this. You got this. If you have a health problem right now and you want to beat this health problem, listen to me. Listen to me. Do if I tell you to call me, call me. Sometimes people don't call me. It's the hardest thing to do to call somebody and talk to them on the phone. They want to text. They want to text. And when you text, it's so hard to be texting. Like, I got too much to talk to you about. I want you to hear the excitement. You call me. Hey, what's up? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's make let's work. You know. You are. Hey, I know you are, Sherry. I know you're looking fine. I already know. I already know. And you know what? Your man is going to fall in love with you all over again because it's the confidence level you're going to receive. You're going to get. Guys, when my wife. Look, so I started doing the keto lifestyle and my wife joined in a month, about a month and a week later. Right. And my wife. Um, and I know she told me I, I bring this up. Right. Because some women might be going through this. Right. So. My wife was one time uh, 16 and 18, right? It depended on what she was wearing. And she had problems with zipping boots up and everything. And, you know, I remember, she had to lay on the, 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 the bed and I had to zip up the boot. You know, we had we trying, right, right? And um, I'm thinking, man, we need to stop. We're going to break the zipper, right? And she dropped this weight, guys. My, wife, my wife's a 9 and a 10 now. Depending on what the clothes are in, but she's in a better place. She feels better, guys. Her energy level is up here like mine is, you know. Even she's a teacher. Can you only imagine what teachers are going through with the Zoom? I'm going crazy with Zoom. I'm a, I'm a home teacher right now, and I am going crazy. Because I remember, I ain't been in school since 95, right? I graduated in 95. I got a GD, right? Not a shame of it, but I got a GD, right? But I graduated in 95, and everything's changed. So this is me and my little son. I got a, I got a four-year-old, and, and I'm trying. I really am trying, you know. So I'm trying to – and then my other one, he's talking about boxes. So he goes, okay, so you get .45. I'm thinking, .45? I don't know what we're doing. I, all I remember is a little bit of algebra, right? So I don't know what we're doing. So we could be stressful. You know, we could be stressful, but my wife is good. My wife is good. So shout out to Sonny, man. Shout out to shout out to everybody on Instagram. Shout out to everybody on Instagram. Shout out to everybody on um, uh, TikTok. TikTok. What's up, TikTok? How are y'all doing? So shout out to everybody. Everybody on Facebook. I'm going to turn my little fan on. Boy, it's getting heated up in here, man. And my house got the AC. I got my AC. Get, well, you know, babe, you bring the AC down. They probably put it at 73. I used to get it at 71. Hey, sh shout out to Betty. How you doing? Uh, shout out to Marie. Hey, yeah, yeah, you know. Man, that Zoom, that Zoom driving me crazy. I'm ready to Zoom day butt back to school, you know. I thought, man, you know, I hey, come October, they going back to school. Both of them. Both of them. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't even get stuff done. I need to get done, you know. So shout out to everybody on here, man. Shout out to y'all. But guys, man, I do these shows, man, to help people with their health. Guys, you know, I, I this is what I had. I had type 2 diabetes. That's the last thing I had. I never got to the insulin part. I was scared of type 2 diabetes. I had high blood pressure for many of years. 
I had asthma. I used to go to sleep sitting down, having real bad asthma. Um, a lot of things I couldn't do outside. I had um, I had skin problems where, you know, people don't know because I mean I wasn't taking all my shirts and stuff like that. But I had some skin problems, right? Just especially them, them things hanging off of me and everything. So I had a lot of skin problems. Um, health health I, I couldn't. There was times I couldn't breathe, you know, because uh, of my asthma. Um, sinuses problems. I had you know during the time I would have sinuses problems. And I no longer have that. I no longer have that. You know, I have joy. I have joy. You know, I have some depression. People thought that, you know, Free, man, Free's got life good. Free DJs. Free gets everybody crunk. Free's the crunk guy, right? Free's the one that makes everybody want to dance because I'm a good DJ, right? But it wasn't like that. When I would get home, I was depressed. I was sad. You know, I was... I was trying to find that joy. You know, I was trying to find that joy. I didn't want to wake up the next day. You know, the only time I wanted to wake up when it was somebody's quinceanera or wedding or something I had to look forward to. I always had to look something to forward to. And that's how all of us are right now. A lot of us have to look something f- to look forward to. Right. But now what I look forward to, I look forward to getting up and helping more people. I get I'm, I'm passionate about this, guys. I'm really passionate about this. Right. Because I've been there because I've been there because I hear this story and I'm trying to help these people. I'm trying. I've been trying to help people for the longest time. You know, um, I have friends that 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 are dying. I've had friends that that died, you know, and. They don't get it. They don't get it. Some you got people that tell you, right now I got people that I can call right now. And say, Oh, you know what? We're going to die of something anyway. Oh, no. Hell no. I love food. Shoot, man. I ain't going to change. Hell no. I love the drink. Oh, hell no. If I die, I die. Right? The same people that are doing that are going to die. They are going to die. Eventually, I'm not God. I don't know when this is going to happen, but eventually, we are going to die. Right? Well, why rush it? Why rush it? Sometimes God is trying to tell us, hey, you know what? Do this. Sometimes I had this, this lady. She was going through Facebook. And she said when she was going through Facebook, my video popped up. Right. And, and I had a video that says uh, the dangers of sugar. Right. My video popped up. And she started looking. She started looking at the video. Well, today she no longer has high blood pressure. She no longer has diabetes. Dahlia. And it's amazing, guys. It's amazing. My mom, my mom's 79 years old. Right. And my mom during the. The COVID, everything, she caught the COVID, right? And she tells me to this day, the only thing that helped me, mijo, was your tea. Because she takes my tea every day. The reason why my tea is good, because I designed it to help people with diabetes. I designed it to help people with high blood pressure, to give them energy, and to help them lose weight. It's amazing. My tea is is amazing. I don't say it's amazing if it's not. It's amazing. I take my tea all the time. You could take it cold or you could take it hot. It gives you results, right? But it's not just in my tea. It's everything. It's everything, you know? Hey, I appreciate that, Erica. It's in everything. Guys, I, you know what? Some of y'all, I want to see who's been looking at my videos. But I want everyone right now to guess how old am I going to be on January the 12th, on January the 12th, how old am I turning? I want people on Instagram. I want people on, on TikTok. And I want people on Facebook to put down how old am I going to be on January the 12th? How old do you think I'm going to be? Got a little gray on me. Got a little gray on me, guys. You let me know how old I'm going to be. So that's what that's what y'all going to do right now. How old? Am I turning January the 12th? It's going to be such an awesome time, man. I'm going to have my book out there. You know, God's going to have my book out there already. It's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be really, really awesome. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for my book. That's Jesus Christ, man. My book. Thanks to my wife. My wife is, she's my rock, man. She's been helping me a lot on my book because, again, I told you I've been out of school for since 95, so there's a lot of things that I write down and, I might forget commas. I might forget this. I might forget that, you know. So, Sabrina says uh, 43. Nice, nice, nice. 
All right, so let them numbers keep on coming. Let them numbers keep on coming. 38. What? 38? Huh? I like 38. <laughs> All right, let them keep on coming. Let them numbers keep on coming, guys. Let them numbers keep on coming. I'm just curious of what, how old you think I am. So, man, yeah, so sugar. You see right here, I got this spoon right here. The spoon right here. I need to see the spoon. The, the spoon full of sugar. That's what we're eating. That's what, we're, that's what we're eating. That's what we're headed to if we keep on eating sugar. You know, sugar, sugar's in everything. You know, I tell people, I said, man, I remember when growing up and my mom used to have a little container. I'm like every parents had the little container, right? And they would have the sugar. And you don't see that often no more. Nobody has a little container of sugar. Why? Because sugar is in everything. Sugar, you know, I was, I was uh, showing people last time I was at the grocery store and I was showing people what Raisin Bran had in them. Right. Do you know how much grams of sugar we're talking about a three ounce, whatever it is, of raisin bran, a little small box. Did you know it has 72, 72 grams of sugar, 72 grams, guys, 72. And, and it's this small. Right. And we and we eat it because we think it's OK for us. Right. Because they put it all. They make it. Fun. Oh, it's healthy. And and then Cheerios and everything and this and that. They're healthy. No, they're not healthy, guys. They're not healthy. You know, milk. Get away from milk. Get away from milk. Get away from milk. Stay away from milk. Drink almond milk. My kids, they said, Dad, we want some Cheerios. OK, you know what? I'm going to make y'all some homemade cereal right now, some homemade, some real good cereal. Right. And of course, they don't want it, but I'm going to make them some homemade cereal because I take that. I took that away from them. You know, I can't take everything away from my son because they like nuggets and they like the French fries and everything. I can't take it. Away, but I am going to take away what I can. And I and that's a lot. So they don't got no more milk. There's no more cereal in my house, you know. Yeah, soy milk's good. Soy milk is good, but almond milk is really good. Almond, almond, soy milk's good. Almond milk, um, coconut milk, that's all good. All that's really good for you. Everything's really good for you. And if you want to, if you want to know about something that you can do to help you, if you got fatty liver, because all of us, we got fatty liver. See, what happens is the keto lifestyle, this is what the keto lifestyle is about, right? So, you have been eating all this sugar through your whole entire life, right? So these all all these cause health problems. Sugar causes health problems. I don't care what anybody says. Your body does not need sugar, right? And because sugar's in everything. Sugar's in natural fruit. And the only fruit I tell you should eat is blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, blackberries. I could tell you one thing right now. If you want to enjoy some fruit, Make sure it's the berry family. Make sure it's the berry family. If you want to cook, make sure you're only, only cooking with olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, bacon grease, and butter, real butter. Five things you can cook with. You need to get canola out your house. You need to get sun oil out your house. You need to get whatever. Oh, and you can use manteca. You can use old school manteca. You're okay with old school manteca because it's just fat. It's lard. So you'll be okay with that. Actually, I use that for my tamales. Yes, I make some awesome keto tamales. And they're going to be in the recipe books. It's going to be in my recipe book. So, yeah, blueberry smooth sounds good. So, guys, are y'all enjoying this? Are y'all having a good time, man? And, and I'm still waiting for some more ages. How old do you think I'm going to be on January? How old do you think I'm going to be on January? Let me see what Instagram got going on over here. Let me see what they got going on. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Let me put that. What's up? My big old face is on here. Let me. What's up, y'all? How y'all? I appreciate y'all being on here. Thank y'all. Thank y'all being on here. And uh, so we Instagram coming along, you know, a lot of people, they, a lot of people want to see stuff that's, that's not important for their life. Like. You got all these people that do pranks and, and you waste your time looking at all these people that are pranking people. And, and it's sad because they're pranking people that are old sometimes and, and you're getting joy from that. When you could get something from my show where you could learn how to eat, where you could learn what not to take, where you could learn, you know, you could learn a lot, you know, you could learn a lot, you know. Y'all just trying to be nice to me now. Y'all talking about 34. Y'all just trying to be nice to me now. 
46. All right. They, that, there you go. There you go. That's good. That's a good number. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Um. So we're going to wait for a couple of more to come through. And then, and then after that, I'm going to just tell you how old I'm going to be. I'm going to hold how old I'm going to be. I'm going to have all my cash apps, guys. I'm going to have all my cash apps out. Yeah, every, everyone can send me a dollar, 50 cents or whatever. Or just go to my bakery and buy something. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. And it'd be good for you, you know. But no, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, So the thing is, man, sugar is an addiction. We all know that. We all know that it's the biggest addiction like it's it's close as cocaine you know from what the studies and from what you hear and everything is close as cocaine or it could be worse than cocaine so i'm going to play you something it's called the dangers of sugar this is something else i wrote and i got my wife to say it because my wife i tell you she's a school teacher she's got a beautiful voice and i got her to say it but let's listen to this guys here we go the dangers of sugar Unstable blood sugar control insulin resistance. Sugar can damage the insulin receptor sites on cells, causing them to not work as well as they should. This makes it harder to get the glucose into the cells to use as energy. The body, sensing it needs more glucose in the cells, puts out more insulin to try to compensate. Increased risk for type 2 diabetes. Eventually, the compensation can't keep up and a person's blood glucose levels rises. There is a continuum of dysfunction until a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes can result. High insulin levels are inflammatory and can also create a host of other issues. Increased body fat obesity. An increase in belly fat increases risk of chronic disease like heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. Increased free fatty acid accumulation, which can have negative effects on blood lipids, triglycerides, and cholesterol. Leaky gut. Excess sugar feeds the bad bacteria like candida in the gut and can lead to an imbalance in the gut bacteria. Dysbiosis or an overgrowth of bad bacteria is inflammatory and contributes to leaky gut and a cascade of mental, digestive, and systemic health issues over time. Increased risk for certain cancers. Sugar feeds cancer and excess sugar intake. Poor blood sugar control and increased insulin production increases your risk for certain cancers. Increased inflammation, which is the precursor for all chronic disease. Adrenal stress. The effect on destabilizing blood sugar levels creates fight or flight response, which creates a stress on adrenal function. Cell damage. Damage to the cells in your body, which lowers your cells' ability to communicate properly with each other. Sugar reacts with proteins in the body and damages them and their ability to function properly. Increase in dental cavities. Cardiovascular health issues negatively affects brain health. Did you know that we now call Alzheimer's type 3 diabetes? How much sugar is too much? Keto is Life TV. There you go, guys. I told you she had a beautiful voice. Uh, so that, that's something I read, I wrote, and then my wife she went, you know, she went back and she did it for me. So if you hear the video, if you hear what I mean, you hear what I just she just said, you hear what it's telling you. You know, it, it sugar causes so many so many things, and then you know, it, it's even where they're, they're making a study where a person that gets Alzheimer's is, is you know, is from sugar, which it is, you know, which it really is. So. If you get away from sugar, that's the best thing you're going to do for yourself, for your family, for everyone, you know. And um, do we have any more numbers coming in? <laughs> so I don't know what the delay is on here, but there's nothing good about sugar, guys. Our body, our body, when we're born, runs on ketones. Our body runs on ketones, right? But since we've been taking all this processed food and all this sugar and everything like that, guess what? Then our body starts running on glucose and glucose is not good for you because eventually you're not going to be able to make insulin that the body needs to make. Right. So when you start, let's just say you have like two. Two barrels inside you. Right. So. Your barrel of ketones, when you're born, your barrel of ketones is right here. Right. And you're you're good. You're using all your fat for fuel you're good right you don't got to worry about all because you haven't put your body into no sugar into no net carbs into nothing bad for you right so your body's good when you're born 
And what happens is we fall off and we start taking all this sugar and everything, right? So now your container that had the ketones, it starts getting filled up with glucose. And when your body starts getting filled with glucose, now that's what you're that's what you're getting from. That's what you're using from it, right? So you're it's not helping you. It's tearing you up, right? So when you start doing the keto lifestyle and you start using your fat for fuel, guess what? You get back to ketones, which is ketosis. And when you start using your ketones, whoo-wee, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, when your body starts running on ketones, <laughs> Jesus Christ, like, it's the best. It, it like, it's the, the best, the best, the <laughs> best. It's the best. I hope I didn't hurt your ears, but it's the best, guys, you know. There is nothing else you want than to let your body run with energy. You have so much energy. You can wake up with energy. You go to sleep with energy. Everything, you know, it's, it's just awesome. It's just really awesome, guys. So where does it start at? It starts with you deleting sugar out your life. Is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be the hardest thing you do? Yes. Will it get it easier? Yes, it will. Do you have to want it? Oh, most definitely. You really got to want this. What happens is when a person starts deleting sugar out their life, the first week they start deleting sugar out their life, they're going to feel lightheaded. They're going to feel sick, right? You're going to feel sick. You're going to feel lightheaded. The second week is the denial stage. The second week you're like, babe, I don't even know why we're listening to him. He ain't even a doctor. You better eat the sugar, right? You're in a denial stage, but yet you're still not going to mess up, right? The third week, you start noticing, man, babe, I got up. I, it don't, my back don't hurt. And, you know, I don't, I don't feel in, in flame. I don't feel my, 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 my legs. They got big. They don't get, they didn't get swollen or nothing, babe. Something's up, baby. I feel good. I feel real good, right? Or you're telling yourself, I feel real good. And you know, you know, you know, because you, you don't eat sugar no more, right? The fourth week, I have you saying, sugar is the devil, because it is. Because it is, it's it, it's exactly. Sugar is the devil. First, it'll destroy the inside of you, and then it'll destroy the outside of you. So it's not easy. Look, Sherry puts on here. Um, it's not easy, but it's if you want it, uh, it's hard work. Yeah, it it is. Let me put her. Let me put her thing over here. So it, she says, um, it's not easy. But if you want it, it's hard work. It is. You know, I got people sometimes tell me, you know what? The, the keto lifestyle is so expensive. It's this or that, right? They, and that's one thing they tell me that's hard and everything. Okay, but let's take, let's, take, let's take a second to think about this, okay? So first, we're going to cover the hard part of it, right? So it's hard, right? Keto lifestyle is hard, but it'll get easier, right? But what's more harder? You injecting yourself? You taking pills? You going through this? feeling terrible you weren't about how you can if you're gonna have a good day today you know you can't run you can't do this can you, what what's harder what is harder you thinking about you don't know when your life is gonna end you don't know if you go to the hospital you're gonna be more sick you're gonna have they're gonna keep you at the hospital or you're gonna work hard to not get there now let's talk about the expensiveness right the expensive so i had somebody tell me man you know what it's expensive free. I can't do keto. It's expensive. I said, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's talk about expensive. So doctors change. Medication change. Okay, I know you might have to pay a couple of more dollars for like almond flour or or that's that's if you're baking or or if you are coconut flour or the sweeteners or, or stuff like that. But honestly, it makes more sense. This is going to be cheaper. The keto lifestyle is going to be cheaper for you. It's going to be a lot expensive than you that have to keep on going to see the doctors. You have to take medication. How much of the, the medications are expensive? I remember when I used to take them three and a half years ago, they're expensive. They're like $60, $70. Sometimes they were like $100, you know. So, you know, you can't say it's not expensive. Because there is, it is more expensive than a regular lifestyle. It is. Because you got to tell people exactly, you know, 
I understand, I understand where you're coming from, but you got to tell people what it is, right? So people use excuses all the time. So they're going to say it's expensive. They're going to say this, that, this. And you know what? Like I said, it might have a little bit difference on the price, a little bit difference on the price. But yet you're out there buying all this food. You're going to Popeye's and buying all this chicken and mashed potatoes and beans and rice and all that stuff like that. You're feeling sick. You ain't changed nothing. You got health problems. So this makes a lot more sense. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. If you're not buying the junk food. Yeah. You got to you have to leave the junk food alone. You have to do the hardest start. The hardest thing people tell me all the time. Hey, I want to get started. What do I do? Throw your bread away. Throw your bread away. And they stay like this. Throw, throw my bread away? Throw your bread away. Hey, I want to get started. What do I do? Throw your tortillas away. Throw my tortillas away? Yeah, when you go and you're going to buy tacos, you can eat the meat with some salad, get you extra salad. Do that, right? Oh, my God. So it's hard for them. Oh, what do I do? Do this. Do that. So I can tell you. For a long time. Oh, my God. We're almost going to hit a, a, an hour show. Guys, oh, my God. I've never done an hour show. We're at 56. Man, hold up. An hour show. Golly. And y'all still here. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all so much. Yes, yes. Replace. And you know what? Replace your Twinkies with sugaristhedevil.net. Sugaristhedevil.net. Guys, I got cake mixes that I just put in my my bakery, and they're amazing. They are amazing. They taste better than a regular cake. I'm gonna tell you right now, they taste better than regular cake. They don't. You don't taste. Try them. Go try them. If you do not like my cake, I buy it back from you, and you can enjoy it. Cause I know my cake is up there. It took years for me to get my cake. Where I wanted to get it at. It's the best. It's the best. I promise you it's the best. So. And there's other treats there. There's other treats. My chocolate chip cookies. They sell really good. Really good. There is nothing. In my bakery. There is nothing out there. I don't care who sells keto. Or who has keto. Who has this. Who has that. There is nothing out there. Of what I sell. In the very beginning, I was going, I, w- I was trying people's stuff out. And I ain't going to mention no names, but even in Houston, I was trying people, even in Katy, I was trying people's stuff out. It tasted bland. It tasted like I was just eating the sweeteners. It, it tasted like I was just eating all the nuts. I remember I ordered something and it, it was just so many nuts. I'm like, God damn, I know you want to put nuts in it, but why so much? I want to, you know. So when I made my bakery, I wanted to make sure that I was never going to send a product out there that wasn't going to be good this is amazing guys this is amazing hey guys man we're at 58 we're going to do two more minutes and i'm gonna jump off you got any questions okay so i'm gonna tell you hold i'm gonna tell you, so we got uh keto flu keto flu keto flu only happens when you're not doing the keto lifestyle right that's the only time it happens and what I mean by that, you got to make sure you have enough magnesium. You got to make sure you have enough vegetables. You have to make sure you have enough antioxidants. You got to make sure you have enough uh, electrolytes. Electrolytes plays a big part. If you do all this, you will not, absolutely not get the keto flu. You will get the bad breath. You will get the bad odor. You know, at, at one time I got the, at the very beginning, I got the, the bad odor. I was like, man, I feel like I, I was like trying to smell like, damn, you know, and I take baths all the time. And I'm like, man, something smells, you know, even with cologne. I was like, damn. What the, and I was smelling my skin. I was like, oh man, you know, it, t- it smelled bar- terrible. And my wife, she got the bad breath, right? I was like, whoa, God, ew, you know, and, and I know my wife, she's a big on hygiene on her teeth and everything. Right. So you'll get that. You'll get that. And, and you'll probably be a little bit tired, but that's it. Keto flu comes when you're not doing it 100% like you're supposed to do it. Remember, your body is not producing water any longer. So you have to drink tons and tons and tons of water. 
you know, I drink a lot of water and I could drink still. I could drink some more water. I can still enjoy some more water, you know. Hey, guys, man, but I appreciate y'all. We got one minute. We got one minute. I'm going to let y'all know how I'm going to be. Hold, I'm going to be on January the 12th. I am going to be. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? 50 years old. I'll be 50 years old. 50, guys. 50. Ain't that crazy? Because your body changes when you delete sugar out your life. If you look at me right here, I look older. If you look at me right here, if you look at me over here, I look older. Look at that. Look, compare me right now. Look at that. I look older. Your body changes. Your mind changes. Your health changes. Your energy level changes. You know, everything changes. And not only in this room, not only in that room, but in the bedroom, in that room, in that room, in every room. And you know where I'm going with this at. But everything changes. No, Nobody knows my wife. My wife is 15 years younger than me, guys. Um. I got to keep myself young. <laughs> but no, um, this is the amazing lifestyle, guys. This is an amazing lifestyle. Guys, I appreciate y'all. We, we hit the we hit one hour mark. We hit the one hour mark, guys. Please take care of yourself. If I can help you, reach out to me. 832-715-2557. The people that were joining me through the whole entire time, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please take care of your health. Take care of yourself. And remember, sugar is the devil sugar is the devil first it'll destroy the inside of you and then it'll destroy the outside of you so we do the next video guys be blessed take care of yourself bye bye sugar is the devil keto is life tv